Welcome to Raising Rock Climbers Uncensored. This is your reality check and home for uncensored, trusted advice. Today, we're going to be talking about the role of the parents when raising professional athletes and particularly rock climbers. I'm Marina, your host, mother of two aspiring climbers and wife to an extreme athlete. Today, we're going to talk about the different roles of the parents. For example, I have now be living in Spain. We are exposed to a lot of families that are as committed as we are to seeing our kids move on to that next level and becoming professional rock climbers. Amazingly enough, living in Spain, we've met several families that have moved here from different countries for the coaches, for the team, so that their children can also move to that next level. And one thing that I have discovered that is kind of across the board, there are very specific roles of the families, right? And the one main one is that usually one parent is completely in charge, excuse me, is completely in charge of the kid's actual involvement and training and practice. Meaning, what does that mean, actually? It means they bring them to all the trainings. They make sure that they go and practice to whatever, in our case, the gyms or taking them to the rock. And if they personally don't do that, they hire guides or they look for trips that take the kids to the rocks. Obviously, going to the gym does not require you as a parent to actually know how to climb. Of course, it certainly helps but you could simply take your kid to the gym and just be there Um, dealing with all the coach stuff. And there is a lot of coach communication, a lot of understanding about the competitions, taking your kids to the competitions, signing up your kids to the competitions. There is so much involved and it's really even at the level that we are at and we are by no means at the pro level, like world cup sponsorships yet, It's already becoming a full-time job for my husband in that respect. I have the other role. I'm the one that, you know, obviously makes sure that we are on the financial track. How much should we be spending? What is really necessary? All the stuff, because there is also an entire other part of the equation. And that is the financial aspect, the, the equipment, paying of the coaches, paying of the gyms. There's just all this other stuff, organizing. A lot of times you just want to organize stuff that is off grid. Like that means it's not particularly with the actual team, but maybe like other parents and friends. So that is a little bit different than the parental involvement of like the actual training and more of that structured side of it, right? And the other thing that I've also noticed is the majority of the times, and this way I have an entire episode about talking about the education of your pro athlete. So please go and listen to that one a lot more in depth. But one thing that I have recognized and have seen amongst a majority of these parents that are as involved and one parent is usually the one in charge is that there's homeschooling involved. Okay, so usually that parent who is involved with all of the training and whatnot, they are also involved with and they are in charge of the schooling. And the majority of it is either actual homeschooling or online schooling. In our case, we decided to go with a very alternative, very flexible school that works with our kids training schedules, which is also very important because we know that we are not equipped to be homeschooling our kids and our kids are not great online because they do like to have that interaction. Every family is going to be very different in that respect. So don't be like, this is my cookie cutter way. You have to sit and you have to really analyze and understand what you and your child are really going to, I guess, grow the most in. So that will be up to you. However, this is the role that I want to focus on is that parental role. And somebody has to be completely ready to commit because if you do want to take them to that next level, there's going to be so much involvement that it becomes a full-time job of at least one of the parents. To be honest with you, even both of the parents, but 
if one of the parents is mainly, you know, the breadwinner, the one that may, works, and then the other one that is fully working with the kids, which is just as important, don't underestimate one versus the other. They're both equally important. So you guys have to figure out what works best for you, how it works best for you, even maybe working with a coach and telling them your situation. If you're a single parent, this is your situation. A lot of times coaches will take on the role of being that full-time person, even kind of like a manager. Obviously, it will depend on the level of your child and the involvement. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave me a review, share this with your friends, and I really want to hear how is it in your household? What are you guys doing? How does it work in your family? Because like I said, every family is different, and the more we could share, the better it will be for the whole community.